Welcome to the Ingleside Public Library Story Time. Today we'll be reading Librarian's Night Before Christmas by David Davis, illustrated by Jim Harris. Twas a cold Yuletide evening and I wandered the stacks, shelving multiple titles that patrons brought back. We toiled over time at our, our library here because the powers that be cut our staff in this year. They spent pork barrel money like a tidal wave sea, but no funds trickled down far enough to reach me. Our books numbered few and were falling apart, and I sat mending pages with a crestfallen heart. Still, I answered the phone with Christmas good cheer and supplied all the names of the North Pole reindeer. I slumped addled and weary in my yuletide apparel. I felt like Bob Cratchit in a Christmas carol. Like old Robert Frost, I gazed at the snow and longed to be home by the fireside's glow. I pondered the debate on Huckleberry Finn. Had the love of great books come to an end? What happened next didn't seem to be real. Cause out of the sky cruised a red bookmobile. Up to the front steps flew this library ride with a portrait of Shakespeare airbrushed on the side. Someone exclaimed, I'll fill all their shelves. Then the door opened up and out popped six elves. They were they wore belled Christmas caps on their unruly hair and hung holiday wreaths on our stone lions there. Santa charged through the door and his black knee boots alone shone. He bowed as he asked, need interlibrary loans? Flummoxed and flustered, I fumbled about. I didn't know whether to check books in or out. This oldster wore crimson, his fedora was green. He was, he was body weight challenged, if you know what I mean. He was bearded and gad like a good storyteller, and he grinned like a writer with a New York bestseller. Nick was jolly and droll, a white mane crowned his head and I could tell by his diction he was very well read. This place needs some cheer, so let's make it a start. Then he whistled in ill, pushing loaded book carts. They stocked Hawthorne, Jane Austen, Steinbeck, and Millet. <clears throat> and for the more macho, they supplied Hemingway. They shelved new science fiction and tomes from the past and sneaked in romances for sweet Molly McNast. Nick signed Newberry winners and start Calicot. Each child got a book, which delighted the tots. He read stories to children, to children by our sm small Christmas tree, while one little tyke took a snooze on his knee. Elves poured steaming hot chocolate in bright Christmas mugs and rolled out soft carpets to replace our frayed rugs. They fixed leaks in the ceiling and patched the cracked wall and hung a large portrait of Mark Twain in the hall. Nick chided a censor who wished some books gone and suggested she scan Fahrenheit 451 for the book budget cutters Old Claus had no plan because if they could read, they just read Ayn Rand. The elves catered a feast straight from the North Pole. They carved turkey with trimmings and buttered hot rolls. Nick nibbled a drumstick, gave his tummy a pat, and tossed a small portion to the library cat. They organized goodies so we couldn't miss them, <coughs> according to Dewey and his decimal system. I thanked the old elf for the wonderful show. He nodded and whispered, it's time that I go. After checking his watch, he paid overdue fees while folks promised to read and unplug their TVs. With these library gifts, my world shined much brighter. 
but this prude had a schedule, a bookman all-nighter. Mick winked at the cat as they dashed down the aisles and yelled, Happy reading, you bibliophiles. He loaded his crew and sang from the yard. The best gift of all is the library card. His ride lifted up and flew over the gate, and just to show off, he zoomed a fast figure eight. Mick boomed from his book van, do one more good deed, have a real Merry Christmas, teach someone to read. Merry Christmas. I hope you enjoyed this book. It's available at the Ingleside Public Library. See you next time.